Not to mention, how can you say Roman Reigns is the best wrestler in the world when, uh, I don't know. Well, let's look at it this way. Sami Zayn, AJ Styles, Kevin Owens, Dolph Ziggler even, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Cesaro, oh my god, even Kalisto. Let's see. Who else on the roster can I think of? Even Chris Jericho, at his age, is still one of the best performers in the business today. Even the Divas and uh, Sasha Banks. Let's see. Becky Lynch, Paige. They're all really great, phenomenal wrestlers who can wrestle. Like, they have the technical aspect down. They have everything down. They are some of the best wrestlers in the world. For their own wrestling talent. Just alone. Like, I'm putting aside their gimmicks. I'm putting aside their personality. I'm looking at this the from the wrestling aspect. Contest. From the wrestling ability. And their range Making of what they can the do. The variety. From their the movesets. How do they do it. How well they do it. And everybody and botches every now and again. Like this, this is unreal. Of all the superstars on the roster. Some moves are harder to pull off than others. That goes without saying. Like AJ Styles' springboard backflip into a DDT. That move's really hard to pull off. Like, I think he's only hit. I mean, he's went for it several times. In the WB, and the first time I think they went for it, um, they messed up and they said they covered it up by saying it was a Pele kick or his backflip kick to the head because that's what it looked like. Because uh, it's not necessarily AJ's fault in that matter, it was more of Curtis Axel's fault not being in the right place, he was too far back when he should have been forward or. AJ should have sprung back farther, but then again, how can he tell? He just pretty much has a guess where Curtis Axel is at that moment and trust him to be where he is when he needs to be. And, the ring, and I think he's done it with uh, Chris Jericho and all three of their big pay-per-view the matches. And I think they, they, I think they did a very solid arena, one at WrestleMania. Uh, I think they did electric. the best one Maybe at Fastlane. In. Don't go anywhere. This match is going to be. Uh, but one thing that is miss. stupid is that uh, the use of Carl Anderson and Gallows in the main match. Like everybody expected them to have a big part in the match when they didn't. Like, their inclusion in the match added little to nothing as the Usos came out and pretty much negated their their presence at all. And sadly, there was no Finn Balor, which is... it sucks. Come on, we want Finn Balor. We don't want him on Monday Night Raw, we want him on the pay-per-view. As, uh, Jack, as Jack the Jobber pointed out on What Culture Wrestling... When a superstar debuts on a pay-per-view, it has more of an impact than they would on a show, on a regular show. I mean, about the only show you can have a wrestler debut on and have the same effect as a pay-per-view is the Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. And that's just because of how the crowd is and how the fact that that, rest, that show, that Raw show, is probably the most watched Raw of all year, probably. I don't know that for a fact, but that probably is true. That probably is the most watched Raw, any Raw that whole year, or that year in general. Granted, WWE's ratings are never going to get back to the way they were and the attitude I just for, well, the multitude of ways. You can go to watch a match, you can go to YouTube and watch short and versions of these matches. So people who miss these shows via work or whatever, they're too busy either they're playing a game, they're reading a book or whatever, they're too distracted, well, they just the forget has all the they just get needed to watch short and version and get the results there about the only time they really responses have to pay attention years, or try and get to is big with you because you're not going to find the match you're not going to find any clips other than maybe a moment or two because you're not going to find like a highlight or so from you WWE anyway 
but you can find people out there who do do highlight videos of pay-per-views of the whole show and for the bigger matches just alone they'll do ones of that but you have multitudes of ways of finding shows now that it's just kind of impossible for WWE to get the ratings they had back when like the Attitude Era per se like that's it's, it's not gonna happen unfortunately I would be remiss if I didn't mention and it's but, important I mean, to remember amidst the chaos of a it's not like WWE's match, losing any money can be achieved really? in many different ways and there's nothing traditional like the only way WWE should have been doomed doomed is if the WWE Network failed and now they're doing something to the WWE Network that some people aren't going to like. And they're doing this to... All three of these competitors hoping to walk away with the winner's end of the first Basically, time. before this new implication that they added, you could watch your WWE the Network the on, Look let's say, your PlayStation 4, your Xbox One, your tablet, your TV. You could watch it on pretty much anything. Anything will work. You could have it running on there all at once. Now... With wow. the new implications, you can that. only watch your WWE Network on one of your social media mark. items at a time. And the reason they do this is because what if wow. that person <clears throat> lent their tablet to somebody so they could watch the network while you watched it at your home. Now, if your tablet's under your same user name or your same user that you that use for the your PlayStation Daddy 4 or whatever, if you're watching it on the PlayStation 4, you, they cannot watch it on your tablet. If you're watching it on your tablet, you can't watch it on the PlayStation yeah, 4. You can only use the WWE Network on one thing at a time because they want to stop people from sharing it pretty much. Yeah. They, this is a they want it out there. They want you to no buy it if you want to watch it. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. Oh, weird that he's tuning up there for a bit, but Harry had other ideas. Oh, he looks like he's in no body. man's land here. He needs to be able to put things back <laughs> together here. Michael, this is a dangerous position to be in. By the way, this and match for me is pretty much like the ultimate of protagonists down. in books. So you have Bobby Pendragon from the Pendragon series, Percy Jackson from the Percy Jackson series, and Harry Potter from the Harry Potter series. Ah. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? real names. <laughs> Oh, phone. Stop it. We've seen some unlikely alliances formed in these type of matches in the past. It'll be interesting to see if we get more of the same here tonight. But yeah, overall, let's see. The Baron Corbin Ziggler match with Ziggler going over Baron Corbin. All three of these um, competitors are going to walk away with the iffy. winner's end of the first tonight. Technically, this is looking at from the standpoint, if you want to build Corbin up, then you have Corbin win the match. Oh, my God. And that's dangerous no matter who you are. Uh, you not about this new implication. That'll definitely give you a different perspective. But oh I think God. Harry Potter might win because of it. This is where you need to look out. The wall of a WWE steel cage measures 15 feet high. And that's dangerous no matter who you are. Oh, my God. Uh, you can say that again, Percy. Michael. Definitely Percy give you a perspective is on just the pretty much German suplexing everybody top. off this. No. This is where you need to look out. The wall of a WWE steel cage measures 15 feet high. And that's of the steel no cage match. Who. And that escape attempt cost you. And again, if everybody would stop escaping and beat down your opponent, then everything would be all fine and dandy. But nope. This is where you need to look out. Oh my gosh, man. WWE really? steel cage measures 15 feet high. Uh, need to cut down the escape. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Not a lot of spring left in. Wow. He was quick as a corpse on yeah. that one. Like I was saying, overall, the pay per view wasn't bad. It was actually better than WrestleMania from a result. Standpoint. Incredible impact on that swing. Uh, there was only the some Corbin bonuses, like I said, the Ziggler Corbin match. You wanted to build up Corbin. You should have had him go over Ziggler, but why having Ziggler go over him, I don't know. Uh, Kalisto versus Ryback, having Kalisto go over Ryback was actually smart. That'll Good and amazing. Uh, for sure. Unless you're right back, of course. Then you're frustrated and this mad that WWE won't push you higher. My God, his um, the Enzo Amore tag team Have match the front of the was attack. unfortunate with Enzo get Amore getting injured as a after being Damage tossed out of the ring like and having his neck or his head whiplash against the ropes. That's oh, really unfortunate. When you see and had to be rushed to the hospital. Which is sad, especially considering they're He's now one of the hottest tag teams in the company. Wait, what the, hold on, now where is he going? Oh man, 
And then you have Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Like I said, that match could have gone either way. But Kevin Owens going over and then having Sami Zayn attack him when he decided to stay for the Intercontinental Championship match makes sense to set up for an Extreme Rules match. Or in a, a match at Extreme Rules with whatever stipulation you decide to add to it. So really, that match could have gone either way. Dean Ambrose going over Chris Jericho again was a loss. Jericho has no reason to go over it, and if he did, he would only be daring Ambrose, which is terrible and bad and should never happen. Even though it's happened a lot because they love burying Ambrose because he's much over than their beloved Roman Reigns. Damage ribs like that can make an escape attempt cost him. It's like he's being Wait, what pretty the, much now where is he going? penalized oh, for being better than Roman Reigns, which is kind of stupid. We're looking at right. complete domination <clears throat> here. Not everybody he's can appease Vince McMahon. Going toe to toe here. And then you have, have we're gonna see several more demonstrations oh yeah, like that before the night's match. over. No, my bad. I mean the women's match, the women's wrestling match, which oh, it is so everybody knew was predictable. That kind of strength. In my opinion. Jackson got it. Charlotte shouldn't even, right have, Charlotte shouldn't even have the title, in my opinion. Because she should have lost it at WrestleMania oh, to Sasha Banks. Really a night of terrible booking, WrestleMania 32. <clears throat> Granted, the match was one of the better like matches of the entire right show. Right now. Still, the fact of having Charlotte win the match is still stupid. Wait, considering Sasha Banks is the most over. Oh, Women wrestling. Shows so if I keep the title on her, I need to have her face Natalia at payback. Well, that was and they wanted her to face Natalia at Extreme Rules also, which again yeah, makes no again, sense. Natalia hey, doesn't. Natalia yeah, being in the title feature makes it. no sense. I mean, they built her up strongly and they built her up well the going cover. into this match. Wow, the save. The but match again, continues. her inclusion in the match, her going for the women's championship makes no sense when Sasha Banks or Becky Lynch would have been well, a, a better it's match in general. <clears throat> and then you have it. It again, a predictable Outcome with Roman oh, Reigns and Roman Styles. Yeah, Everybody knew Roman Reigns and Roman Styles because the eyes. they want Roman Reigns to have a long title reign. Why are they? Because he's a golden boy. Stay and down. Stay down. They can do whatever the hell they want with their shit. They both come crashing down. Because I have no control over it. Even though I have my opinions about it, I have no control over it. Sucks. And then I'm not running the show now, am I? I'm just watching it. Oh! Oh! Oh snap! Don't go for the pin. I said don't go for the pin. She would knock down Bobby and then went for the pin. Ugh. But these competitors trying to keep their wits and then about the, we'll the big question so now far. is will AJ cool Styles like continue to go after the world title and or will they feed Roman Reigns and new victim? Well, they're taking a risk here. Because from what I've heard and realized is that WWE wants to keep the title in range until SummerSlam. When he's going to drop the title to John Cena. Because the WWE for sure oh, really want John Cena to reach that number 16. Look at this. And or He's going back to an somebody else entirely that different. <laughs> You're right about that. You gotta remember Ow. what works. Wait, Ow. what the oh, just landed on where is he going? Oh man. That's but when you really see someone hard. climb up there, come on, Bobby. He's daring the floor and oh. the opponent can just now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. Yeah, and that's a message you don't want to receive. Wait! Is he still kind of Harry Potter still win? hasn't won a match. Oh, there were some unbelievable Damn. highlights. Watch this. What a random tag team. Only to be stopped by Chop. A la Grey Collie. Kind of. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> oh, that's... I don't... 
I don't know if that can pick out highlights from that match. Then again, I was, too, I was probably too busy thinking about Roman Reigns to even pay attention to what was going on in the match completely. Especially tiny details like that pin right there that didn't even last a second. But oh well. Oh, that's right, that's his signature. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Is that his finisher? No, those are his signatures. Oh, those WWE competitors that. tore this arena apart. Right about that. My bad. Um. So. Overall, the booking of this pay-per-view was better than WrestleMania 32. But how, by how much better was we got it than a couple WrestleMania of highlights 32? Here. Let's check and the answer out. is not much. It had better outcomes I mean, at WrestleMania 32, the pre-show pretty much had every face win. And then on the main card, had pretty much every heel win. Except for Zack Ryder and Shane McMahon Undertaker match because there was no technical heel face in that match. Because Here's everybody was rooting winner. for Undertaker and Shane. There was too much a win-win situation there. What an incredible match. Except that one could have the match lost way. all Nobody meaning after Shane McMahon controlled Raw. Yeah, you're right. It's just a shame that someone had to Every lose. Every Raw up until payback match, and will continue to control Raw victorious. along with his sister. And that's this guy. With that win in the books, we must now move on. Now, another question to add here is... Uh, how will Triple H play into things when he comes back, or if he's going to be there? How will Triple H play into effect? Well, 